Hi, Average Fat Gamer here. Just uh, video number two. Um, so, why do I want a gaming room, a setup? Um, well, don't get me wrong, playing on the large screen it, 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 it's great. Uh, you've got the Atmos sound and you've got all the kit. Um, and it's convenient, you know, I can sit in the lounge and play games and it, it's quite good. And with the sound and the new pictures and the, with the, from the 4K TV, it's fantastic. The HDR is fantastic. But it's slow. It's hard going. Um, the refresh rate on these uh, things isn't great. Um, if I stick it on game, then the colours wash out or they get too strong and it just looks really stupid. So I ended up having to play it on HDR mode. Um, or Dolby Vision, which sometimes can be really too dark. It's not really supposed to be for games. Uh, so when you're trying to spot enemies or trying to find treasures and stuff, it just, you, you can't see it. You just can't see it. The surround sound systems nowadays, they're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, and, and really work really well. But there's no reason why you can't do a dedicated gaming setup. Um, I've got a, a home cinema setup here, which I'll show you in another video. And uh, that comprises of a receiver, a Marantz receiver, SR7012. Uh, I've got a KEF C650C, I think, or 650C. That's my centre speaker. Um, that puts out quite a bit of wattage. And then I've got, uh, effectively, the KEF Q150 bookshelf uh, speakers to give me a surround sound. I've got uh, the Q50As, which are the Atmos... Um, uh, add-on modules, you can see them just at the top of the Q550, which is the, the standard there. Um, I've also got, within my uh, little setup, I've got Xbox 360 here, Nintendo Switch, which we'll show you all later. Um, and at the moment, this thing's running at the moment, that's the PS4 Pro. All running with uh, decent HDMI cables, which I got from Amazon at a reasonable price. Um, don't be fooled with the ones you get, they're rubbish. They, they uh, at any stage they'll uh, drop out. I won't give you the bandwidth and then you won't get the colors. But all the convenience comes at a price. RPGs, driving rig games, that sort of stuff. It's milliseconds. It literally is milliseconds from losing and actually getting somewhere. And when you're average, you, you, you need every edge you can get. Um, but uh, you, you just don't get it, unfortunately. You're looking at 40 to 50 milliseconds on refresh rate on on the OLED here, which does look fantastic, and I'll show a picture of it later. Um, but, you know, I need a little bit more help. So, in the videos to come, I'll be looking at the individual pieces of kit I've got at the moment in the home cinema area, the home theatre, in my lounge. Um, and we'll be talking about what that might mean for going into the setup in, uh, in the, what is going to be the gaming room. We're going to have a look at the gaming room, the storeroom, the dumping room as it is now. Um, we're going to discuss the, the limitations, implications for going in there, what I'm going to have to do. Um, and then hopefully I'm going to get some subscribers and uh, we'll be able to get some um, opinions on what I can put in there, uh, what sort of tech I can use um, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm also acutely aware that I'm probably going to need to somehow work out cameras and stuff because at the moment, phone in the iPhone, eh, it's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do there. So stay with me. Uh, this is video two. Um, and video three will show some of the kit I've currently got. And then video four, we'll be looking at the spare room and we'll start calling it a gaming room. Um, and then we'll start thinking about what I need to do to get out, get stuff out there. Uh, get stuff in there, uh, looking at a gaming rig, like a driving rig, uh, what sort of PC would I like in there, triple monitors or VR, I'm thinking triple monitors, um, ease, um, certainly with the VR, it tends to make me be a bit PC seasick, um, and then looking at, you know, the, all the other stuff that needs to go along there, do I move the PlayStation, do I move the, P, uh, the Xbox, put, put it on the monitors as well, might help me, um, refresh rate's much better. So, yeah, we're up for some open discussions, a little bit of fun. Um, I'm sure you're going to see uh, some interesting things with uh, this channel, um, certainly with the development of it and as it moves on about the building of the game room, the decoration probably. I'm useless at that. Um, and let's just see where it goes. Okay, thanks for joining the Average Fat Gamer.